The biggest news of the day came out of Belton, where the trial of Carmen de Cruz has now entered day three. Yep, getting into it now. He faces a charge of second degree manslaughter in the killing of Michael Dean, something punishable with up to 20 years in prison. Six News anchor Bailey Bates was in the courtroom today. She joins us now live in studio with more on what happened today on day three. Hey, Bailey. Chris Lindsay, after years of waiting, family and friends of Michael Dean are finally hearing information they've been waiting for. However, they have chosen not to watch any body camera footage of the moments they lost their loved one, leaving their faith in the jury. For the first time ever, members of the jury in the trial of Carmen de Cruz were shown body cam footage from the night of Michael Dean's death. It started with the former officer clocking Dean's car going 77 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone. From there, DeCruz chases Dean down the road before using a blocking maneuver to stop his car, a move the Temple Police Department does not teach its officers. After that, Cruz gets out of his car, moving toward the passenger side of Dean's vehicle. He then points his gun at Dean's head, demanding him to take his keys out of the ignition and hand them over. As DeCruz is reaching to grab the keys from Dean, the gun goes off. The first responding Temple Police officers found a Cruz wrapping gauze around Dean's head and providing life-saving measures on the ground. De Cruz was eventually pulled from the situation. The responding Temple Police officers were able to find a pulse on Dean, but after attempting CPR and trying to use an AED, the pulse was eventually lost. An autopsy report later found that Dean had an alcohol content level at 0.2, more than double the legal limit. Speaking to the Dean's family attorney, Lee Merritt, after day three of the trial, he wouldn't comment on evidence, but did speak on what he thinks the defense will try to pull. The defense uh, leans really heavily, generally for law enforcement officers, it's been my experience, they lean very heavily on their duty. I think it's a ridiculous defense. Um, he's also going to have to say that he feared for his life. Merritt says the trial is weighing heavy on family and friends of Dean as information comes to light. But this case also has a much larger reach. This trial is, is the most important thing that's happening in the country right now. Uh, the community should really dig in. Uh, the outcome in this case will determine uh, the safety of far too many Texans. Now the trial continues tomorrow at 9 a.m. More witnesses will take the stand then, and the Dean family still waits for justice and accountability. Six News will be in the courtroom. We'll keep you updated over there and also online. Bailey, thank you very much.